The, uh, are you angry? I'm angry. The mayor's angry. We're all angry. If you take a poll, are you angry? 100% are angry. How can you not be angry? Look at the current state of economy, the current state of the economy. Look at the current state of Albany. Look at the continuing reel and loop we've been watching about Albany and the dysfunction of Albany and the corruption of Albany, uh, the lack of progress. Uh, look at the lack of cooperation between the state government and the city government. Look at how many times the mayor said, I need a partner, I have a good idea, I need the state government. And the state government was dysfunctional. So we're all angry. Okay, what do you want to do? We can have an anger party, celebrate our anger. Or we can say, let's take that anger, let's take the energy, let's focus it and actually do something to correct the problem. Let's actually have progress for the state. And that's what my campaign is all about. It's, uh, my campaign says, take the anger, understand the anger, acknowledge the anger, but use the energy and bring it to a positive place, have a plan, use the anger to put together a coalition that's never been put together before, where you bring business and labor together, Democrats and Republicans together, go to the mayor and say, I understand you're angry. I understand you're not happy with what's been happening with Albany. Join me, we'll put together a coalition and we'll change. That's a positive use of the emotion. Yes, miss. No, no. I had a meeting with uh, staff members yesterday. It was a typical meeting that I probably have on a daily basis. No, I'm just angry. No, just angry. Uh, am I, no, I'm just angry. I have one emotion at a time, and my focus on the uh, my, my emotion today is angry, not worried. I guess you could be angry and worried at the same time, but I'm just angry. But angry and positive, Isaac. That's kind of a jokey question, but it's kind of true. If you have an anger party, we all tell them. And that's a question about people have been talking about your approach to the media and you know, how much time you spend with us versus Paladino, whether it's working or not working. And then secondly, um, some people have described Paladino's anger as dangerous. Let me, let me tell you, we're here to talk about Andrew Cuomo, who's the right guy at the right time to take us forward and to govern. And all of the theatrics are interesting, but this is not about anybody else. And that's we've got to ask Andrew Cuomo to explain how he is going to actually affect change. When I've talked to him, he has some common sense things that I think he has a chance of implementing. And that's exactly what we need. We've gone with dysfunctional government in Albany, both sides of the aisle, both all the floors or whatever floors they are on in the state capitol. It's time to go ahead and do something different and not to look to the past and blame the past. Sir, you had a question? The uh, congestion pricing I was not directly involved with. Um, I would be open to discussing the goals that congestion pricing was trying to reach. Obviously, politically, uh, it was difficult. Uh, do I support the mayor 100%? Uh, As I said in my opening statement, I think he's... Ha have I voted for the mayor? Yes. And do I think he's doing an extraordinary job? Yes. Uh, the commuter tax in terms of what in terms of what, Josh? Is this the payroll tax that you're talking about? The MTA payroll tax? Yeah, obviously I didn't, I wasn't in a position to vote uh, or opine on that tax at the time. Hey, yes, sir. You had a question? Well, you if a it. proposal comes up, we'll talk about it. Right, so you had a question? This year, I've changed my mind. I think this year is a unique time in our history. We cannot continue to go on the way Albany has been governing and bankrupting the state. And so I've endorsed Dan Donovan for attorney general. I think he will focus on being attorney general and do a great job and be a good partner. 
with the second floor. I've endorsed uh, Harry Wilson. I think he would be spectacular and do a great job uh, with who's ever on the second floor. And I'm trying to make sure that the guy on the second floor is the guy that can do the job, Andrew Cuomo. Sir, you had a question? One more, guys. I think if Andrew Cuomo can get both sides of the aisle to even talk to each other, it would be a major accomplishment. They don't talk to each other. Everything is partisan. Nobody ever stops to say what's right for the people of this state or the people of the districts that they represent even. The only thing they ever care about is this is good or bad politics for my reelection. And that you just cannot govern that way. And we also need somebody that at the head, and in the end, it's the executive that really is the one that has to bear the brunt of, of working with the legislature, whether it's a federal, state, or city level. And uh, we've got to stop these unfunded mandates for all parts of this state that are passed because it's good politics for somebody, but we don't have the money. We don't have the money in the city, and we don't have the money in any one of the other 57 counties outside of New York City. So I am supporting, make no mistake about it. Andrew Cuomo, I think he's the right person for this job at the right time. I'm sure I won't agree with him on everything. He's going to have the responsibility of doing what's right for the whole state. And my responsibility is for New York City. But there's just in my mind, this is the right person. And I will work very hard to get him uh, elected, to get uh, Harry Wilson elected, and to get Dan Donovan elected. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.